Texas Governor Rick Perry is still taking heat for a controversial executive order that he issued four years ago. Yeah, it mandated that all 11 and 12 year old girls be vaccinated for HPV, a sexually transmitted virus that can cause cervical cancer. Well, the now overturned order is becoming a big issue in Perry's presidential campaign. Eyewitness News reporter Ted Oberg joins us live from the Smart Board with a closer look at the issue. Ted? Eric, let's talk about some of that criticism Governor Perry is taking for the decision. The most damage seems to be due to the fact that Perry was pretty closely tied uh, with a, a, a close friend of the manufacturer of this drug. His name was Mike Toomey. He was two-time chief of staff for uh, Governor Perry, and he'd given $41,000 to Governor Perry in campaign contributions over the time uh, uh, that Governor Perry's been in office, 9000 of those dollars uh, before the HPV vaccine decision was made. He was also the chief lobbyist for Merck. As I mentioned the only worldwide manufacturer of Gardasil, that vaccine. Merck uh, has a political action committee that given $39,000 to Governor Perry, 22,000 of that before the decision. It's a lot of money, but Governor Perry had raised tens of millions of dollars in this time. And while his critics are saying the decision was motivated by politics and money, he found a Houston family. This is another possible motivation that is far more personal. Until you've seen this, Craig Wilson says you don't know the whole story of Rick Perry's HPV vaccine decision. She's happy as hell. I mean, she is, she is just unbelievably ecstatic. Here she is in a beautiful ranch somewhere riding on a motorcycle, which she's never really done, with the governor of the state of Texas. The guy driving that motorcycle is the governor, Rick Perry. The young woman on the back is Houstonian Heather Burcham, at that moment just 31 years old and a few months away from dying of cervical cancer. I feel like I'm not going in vain because I can tell others about it. When she was diagnosed, she set out to tell the world about her illness and the vaccine that would have prevented it. Her fear was that her pain and her death would mean nothing. I kept thinking, what good can come from this? After Governor Perry got in Texas trouble for signing that executive order in 2007, Heather tried to convince lawmakers to let it stand and in the process met Governor Perry. Far more than just a meeting, though, it sparked a friendship. And long after the order was rescinded and Perry lost the political fight, the two kept talking. Heather had Perry's personal cell phone, and he invited her for a day at a friend's ranch. It was a great day. It was one of her great days of her life. She loved the whole thing. Months later, when the end was near for Heather, Perry quietly snuck into Houston and sat by her bedside. No press, no statement, just the governor and one of his 21 million constituents for hours. I think he truly had a heart for this young girl. Four years later, Perry is once again in trouble for that decision. The question is, is it about life or was it about millions of dollars and potentially wow. billions for a drug company? All right. Does she know anything about what happened at the time? Absolutely not. Heather's friends are angry. They say they knew a governor motivated not by politics, but by protecting young girls. I think it solidified that he was doing the right thing. Before she died, Heather was proud she could speak out. That just means that God is not done using me. And tonight, her friends tell us there is still something coming from it. Even this garbage that, you know, his rivals are bringing up brings the HPV and the Gardasil shot back on the front page. So now, hopefully, even more people know that it's out there. Heather was especially close to us here at Channel 13. She worked with us for a time. We thank her and her family for sharing those stories and those photos that have never before been seen. Ted Ober, 13 Eyewitness News.